Hey, this is PCHelpBlog.net for June 24th, 2015. Today we're going to talk about Tweak UI. This is a very important program for Windows. It was made for Windows XP, but however, you can use it for Windows 7. I might uh, express a warning before you use it. If you don't know how to use it, please do not use it. But it is a very good tweaking tool. I've used it in the past, but I don't use it anymore. Um, you may find it easy to use. So let's go ahead and click on the icon down here and install. Okay, so we have the right version now. That other version was for Windows XP, but this is for Windows 7 and Vista. So let's go ahead and open and see what how to install it. You simply open the zip file, you drag and drop onto your desktop, and you click on it, and right here, uh, here you can re uh, read me file, which is very handy if you don't know how to use it. Uh, it just says recommendations on where to install it, change log, uh, visit the uh, Windows Club. This is from them. But it's actually a Windows 7, Windows Vista, Ultimate Windows Tweaker. So you just right click on it and open. Install. And there we have it. But the problem with this program is very powerful. And the the reason why I say it, it's problematic is because if you make the wrong choices on this particular program, you could lock yourself out of your own computer or damage it in such a way that you cannot use it. So I'm warning everybody right now. It is a very good program, but if you don't know how to use it correctly, it can ruin your computer. So let's go over the basics. You, uh, system information, which is right here. Personalization. Here you can shut down certain things in Windows Explorer. Also you can customize the start menu. You have several options here as you can see. Tweak the uh, taskbar appearance. You can lock the taskbar and do a lot of other things that's within the taskbar at the bottom of, um, down here. Also you can uh, user accounts and UAC. You can uh, change the welcome screen tweaks, uh, welcome screen text and button effects, user account disable, enable, admin approval, and so forth and so forth. Uh, you can enable administrator or disable it. System performance, you can change the time pro uh, certain programs shut down, uh, kill certain programs that do not respond and you can uh, do system performance tweaks and optimize service uh, security settings is very important these days but please be advised once you do these and if you don't know how to get these undone you'll probably have to reinstall Windows uh, you can disable the control panel, disable a lot of other things as you can see. Windows restrictions, you can just uh, disable folder options for if you're on a network, you could just click on here. Windows applications restrictions, you could disable certain functions. Windows update setting, you could disable all or have remove all access to Windows Update feature. If you have, say this is your main computer and you have people on your network, network tweaks. Here you can hide everything, uh, disable remote desktop sharing, and a lot of other functions. Internet Explorer, you can hide uh, hide your server from general browser list and a lot of other things here. Additional tweaks, useful content 
menu for drives show take ownership uh, that's if you right click on a certain folder and you want to take ownership of it uh, other functions as well so it's very handy but you you should know how to use it before you do use it so this is my take on Windows 7 Windows Vista tweak UI version 2.2 this is Dan from PCHelpBlog.net for June 24th, 2015. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put uh, links to this website uh, in the show notes on YouTube and on the website itself.